hello and this is Dalia again and I'm reading the Vampire Diaries The Awakening chapter 14 and this should be chapter 7 I believe his harsh sobs went on and on as she held him on the full skirts of the blue gown stroking his quivering shoulders she murmured nonsense meant to soothe him pushing him away her own horror. And presently she quieted and lifted his head. He spoke thickly, but he seemed to have returned to the present, to have come back. The parchment was a note for me and for Damon. It was said she had been selfish wanting to have both for us, both of us. It said she couldn't bear to be the cause of strife between us. She hoped that once she was gone, we would no longer hate each other. She did it to bring us together. Oh, Stefan, whispered Elena. She felt burning eyes fill her own eyes in sympathy. Oh, Stefan, I'm so sorry, but don't you see after all this time that what Catherine did was wrong? It was selfish, even when it was her choice. In a way, it had nothing to do with you or with Damon. Stefan shook his head as if to shake off the truth of the words she gave her life for that we killed her he was setting up now but his eyes were still dilated great disc of black and he had the look of a small bewildered boy Damon came up behind me he took the note and read it and then I think he went mad we were both mad I had picked up Catherine's ring and he tried to take it. He shouldn't have. We struggled. We said terrible things to each other. We each blamed the other for what had happened. I don't remember how we got back to the house, but suddenly I had my sword. We were fighting. I wanted to destroy the arrogant face forever to kill him. I remember my father shouting from the house. We fought harder to finish it before he reached us, and we were well matched, but Damon had always been stronger, and that day he seemed faster too, as if he had changed more than I had. And so while my father was still shouting from the window, I felt Damon's blade, blade get past my guard. Then I felt it enter my heart. Elena stared aghast, but he went on without pause. I felt the pain of the steel. I felt it stab through me. Deep, deep inside, all the way through, a hard thrust, and then the strength poured out of me, and I fell. I lay there on the paved ground. He looked up at Elena and finished simply, and that was, and that is how I died. Oh. Okay, and I'll continue soon with more.